Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. X over 2 times X over 2 equals 2 over X. Well, the first step to take is to deal with what you have on the left hand side. X times X, that will be X to the power of 2 over 2 times 2, that is 4. Then on the other side, we have 2 over x. And when you have two fractions, one on the left, the other on the right, you cross multiply. Okay, so we are going to cross multiply. So we have x to the power of 2 times x equals 4 times 2. Now x to the power of 2 times x is x to the power of 3. And that will be equal to 4 times 2 is 8. What does the question say? Solve completely. Now, do you know that x to the power of 3 here can be the same thing to 2 to the power of 3? Because 8 is 2 to the power of 3. We shouldn't equate the basis yet because if we do that, we'll have just one solution. So we continue. Let's take this to the left. As we have x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 now equals 0. Now, let's remember this a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. Do you know that this is called difference of two cubes? Just like we have difference of two squares. This is difference of two cubes. Now, we have a minus b. Then in the other brackets, then we have um, a squared plus ab plus b squared. This is what we have. So we're going to write this in form of this. Our a minus b becomes x minus 2. Then a squared there, that will be x squared plus ab that will be x times 2 and is some um, 2x then plus b squared the b squared will now be 2 squared which will give 4 then we equate and get 0 so we have two factors now this and this since we are multiplying both of them to get 0 it means that either of them or both of them must be equal to 0. So we have x minus 2 equals 0 or x squared plus 2x plus 4 equals 0. Okay, so I'm going to leave what we have on the other side and deal with this first. So from here, our x will be 0 plus 2 meaning that x is equal to 2. So here we have the real solution to the problem. But we are to solve completely, so I have to pick from this equation and solve, where we have x squared plus 2x plus 4 equals 0, right? Now, we can use our formula for this as well x equals minus b plus or minus square root of 4 square root of b squared rather minus 4 ac then we divide by 2 okay so you should know how to get your a b c x will be equal to our b is 2 so i write minus 2 then plus or minus b squared that will be 2 squared then minus what do we have next we have 4 right so write 4 times a because a is the coefficient of x squared and that is 1 then c is 4 so we multiply this by 4 divide by 2 times 1 what do i do x from here is equal to minus 2 plus or minus 
2 squared is 4 minus 4 times 1 times 4 is 16 so we divide by 2 now what do I do next subtract what we have under the root so we have minus 2 plus or minus if I subtract I have minus 12 right then divide it by 2 it's kind of impossible to find the square root of minus 12 with your calculator so we will break it down minus 2 plus or minus square root of 12 sorry I wrote out of sight square root of 12 multiply by square root of negative 1 and that is divided by 2 this way this negative has been pointed out or has been picked out so that 12 will be alone now x is equal to minus 2 plus or minus 12 here is the same thing as 4 times 3 okay I'm trying to pick out the perfect square that that, that can be found in 12 then multiply by square root of negative 1 we are still dividing everything by 2 okay so I'm going to write this at the top at the other side okay so let's go there okay so this is what we have our x will now be minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2 then multiply by root 3 and square root of negative 1 is imaginary so we write i then we divide this by 2 okay we can arrange the numerator again so that x will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus 2 times i that will be 2i then we have root 3 and we are dividing by 2 x is 2 can go there we have minus 1 the same 2 will go into 2 and we have plus or minus i then we have root 3 so we are saying that x is equal to minus 1 plus i root 3 or minus 1 minus i then we have root 3 mind you we have three solutions already the first is x equals 2 that is x1 then the second is x2 which is equal to minus 1 plus i root 3 which is from here then our x3 is minus 1 minus i then we have root 3 these are the three solutions from the equation